Netflix has already released the synopsis for the special 30th anniversary episode titled Once and Always and apparently it's all going to be about revenge. The synopsis reads as follows, after tragedy strikes, an unlikely young hero takes her rightful place among the Power Rangers to get revenge on the team's oldest arch nemesis. Basically what this means is that Trini's daughter is going to avenge her mother's death and apparently this death was Rita Repulsa's fault since the former archenemy of the Power Rangers is her. In addition to this, we already know that Rita is confirmed for this special episode, so it's pretty obvious that she is the villain and if this synopsis talks about revenge, then that must be that Rita had something to do with Trini's death. I want us to start giving meaning to every detail of this synopsis so that we can create a possible story of what is going to be happening in this special episode. The first thing it tells us is that there is going to be a tragedy. This means that the tragedy could have been Trini's death at the hands of Rita Repulsa. Maybe they are going to show us some part of the past at the precise moment when Trini confronts Rita and maybe we can see how this tragedy happens. This is something very difficult that may happen since we know that the actress of this character passed away many years ago and we do not know if they will look for another actress, or simply everything will be while Trini is transformed. The other solution is that they simply show us images after Trini's death without revealing how it happened. At least we know that this part of the tragedy is very clear that it must be related to Trini's death in the series and the images of the cemetery also confirm that they are going to talk about this death. Then, the synopsis tells us that a young heroine is going to take her rightful place among the Power Rangers. This is a clear reference to Trini's daughter taking her mother's place on the Power Rangers team as the Yellow Ranger. Even though this is pretty obvious and very unsurprising, still, I think when they do that power handoff they could create a very epic moment if they do it the right way. If they hand over the powers to Trini's daughter in a simple way, then they will miss a great opportunity to create a moment full of emotions and this would be the most appropriate moment to pay tribute to Twee Trang. Imagine that moment when the Mighty Morphin Rangers get together and tell Trini's daughter that her mother was a powerful Power Ranger and now she can carry on her mother's legacy by using her powers to do good and help those who need it most just like Trini did. This would be one of the most exciting moments in the entire history of the franchise and Mighty Morphin history. The final sentence says that this new heroine is going to take revenge on the team's oldest archenemy, which we already know is going to be Rita. It's a little strange to see the word revenge in a Power Rangers story since we all know that the Rangers have always been people who seek to do good and never seek revenge. The main purpose of the Power Rangers has always been to protect and help all those people who cannot defend themselves, it has never been revenge as this comes from hatred. We know that the rangers have destroyed many enemies and when they have to destroy a monster they do not hesitate to do it, but the reason to destroy that monster never comes from revenge, but it is to protect people so that the monster does not continue to do harm. Maybe the purpose of the new yellow ranger is to destroy Rita so that she doesn't continue harming innocent people, but I don't know if it is part of a ranger to seek revenge. This word revenge makes me feel that the production of this special episode has allowed us to have a story with a little more of an adult feel since in any adult story revenge is something normal. In non-adult shows the superheroes are always perfect and only seek to do good, just as I said how a power ranger normally is. But in adult shows, we know that heroes are still human beings who have feelings and even though they want to do good, they can still hate an enemy, and if that enemy took a loved one away from them, then it is obvious that they can hate them and seek revenge. If this episode has themes that are more for adults, then this could be the beginning of a new series that are targeted for an adult audience. Besides the posting of the synopsis, 
We also had another post that we should mention and that is that the Pink Ranger, Cat, shared on her Instagram an image that brings back a lot of memories. In this image we can see her and Zack seeing the Earth and they are obviously on the moon from Rita's castle. Basically, this is the same thing we saw in the Mighty Morphin series when Rita was looking down to Earth. On the left side we can see the telescope that Rita used to follow all the movements of the rangers. On the right side we can see something that makes me think a lot of things, although in reality maybe it could be something that is part of the production. On the right side we can see that there is a part of the railing that is broken and although we do not know if the camera shot does not reach that part and maybe that part of the railing is not necessary, in reality it looks like something else. If we look closely, we can see that the top part of the railing is broken, but the pole is broken in half, so it looks like it is broken on purpose. This may not mean anything important, but it could also mean that Rita's castle was abandoned for a long time or maybe it has been destroyed in some important battle. I think that in this special 30th anniversary episode we will see a very epic battle and this could be the end of Rita Repulsa, or rather Robo Rita since we know that she is coming back in robot form. In this battle they are going to show us the past and everything that has happened in order to get to this moment and know the real purposes for this great battle to happen now in the present. I think they can also show us a little of the history of Trini's daughter so that we can all understand the character and have a closer approach to her story so that it is not like passing the powers of one of our heroines to a strange person. If they give us the story of Trini's daughter, then it is very possible that they should include Trini in the whole story and so without the actress we don't know how they could achieve all this. What we do know so far is that this is going to be one of the most epic episodes we can have in the entire history of the franchise and we should enjoy every moment we have with our lifelong heroes. It is obvious that with 50 minutes of duration of this episode they have to give us some surprises, so let's hope that they are significant surprises and that everything they have shown us in the trailer and the social media, is only a little bit of what is going to happen. If you would like to see the new Yellow Ranger in action, like this video and subscribe for new episodes of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers.